Welcome to Guitar Gallery. It's Stefan and Stefan here. Today we're doing a comparison review. We do enjoy those. They uh, keep us honest. Uh, <laughs> as we always say, we, we do a blind test uh, normally beforehand to really um, try and understand what our ears are telling us about, about these guitars. So today, um, you know, it's important to be unbiased. We try our best. <laughs> but uh, when you compare two Santa Cruz models, uh, you need to dress appropriately, and I think we've done that. <laughs> so we're going to look at the uh, Santa Cruz OEM standard model, and we're also going to look at the Santa Cruz OEM pre-war model. So mm -hmm. from the outside, they look very similar. Yeah, aesthetically, there's almost no difference, you know, apart from, apart from the... the 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 um bindings uh, mm. you know the headstock veneer is different mm. um the the purfling around the top and the rosette um otherwise these guitars are remarkably similar from from a tonewood perspective they've both Sitka got spruce. master grade Sitka spruce tops and both have got beautiful uh, examples although different but uh, the same species of mm. East Indian rosewood yeah um from the outside you would you know a layman would mistake one guitar for the other but it's actually what's going on on the inside yeah. where the real gold that lies and so and so the real difference i mean almost the only difference from a tonal perspective is the fact that we've got a standard x pricing uh scalloped x pricing uh in the standard position and then it's also scallop uh x pricing but forward shifted so we're literally talking about a few millimeter difference between these two yeah. guitars and uh, you know from from the blind test that we've done earlier it was very obvious to hear the difference between these two guitars, even maybe easier than some of the other comparison videos that we've done before. Actually, quite surprising how much yeah. the difference is. You know, just just uh, from a structural point of view, and Santa Cruz Santa Cruz refers to this as they they call it the advanced expression, which mm. means this four shifted, shifted version. Yeah. You wouldn't believe such a small difference in the construction of the guitar leads mm. to such a big difference mm. in the tone. It was amazing to hear. You know, with your eyes closed, n no clue which one is which. And the sound coming from otherwise such similar guitars, the mm. difference was just amazing. Mm. From, if you have to describe the sound and, the, and, and what influence this has on the tone, um, you, know, you know, I discussed it. And, and if you were to imagine a, uh, a scale from punchy to more open and warm, and these are, these are terms that we use loosely, but uh, we want you to respect that we're going to zoom in on this very specific issue. And yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is the issue of you know, how the guitar responds to that initial attack. Mm. Because both of these guitars have a beautiful, lush, and a full sustain to the notes. Mm. Um, very typical of Santa Cruz yeah, almost. Yeah. But then the way that initial attack works, on the standard OM, there's a, there's a quick, sharp attack, almost a bouncy attack. The mm. notes pop out at you before yeah. fading into this, this rich sustain. Yeah. Whereas on the pre-war model, that initial attack is almost more rounded and mm. more subtle. It, yeah, it yeah. gives the overall tone of the guitar a more open and airy yeah, and yeah. resonant sound, which comes across as more bassy as well. Yeah, yeah. Santa Cruz says that on their website. Yeah, yeah. So, on, you know, you've got on the one side a more punchy instrument, on the other side a little bit more of a mellow instrument, a little mm. so softer in, in terms of attack. Yeah. And the beautiful thing about that is, is that neither one is right or wrong. Yeah. It can really be an artistic or a creative tool in the, in the hand of the player. We've had so many people coming through here and playing on both. I mean, that's the amazing thing about Guitar Gallery is that, you know, we allow to actually compare two guitars where there's just a slight difference in, in the bracing. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we've, there was no clear winner. That's the best, best one of the two. Yeah. And some people just prefer the standard and some prefer the, uh, the, the pre-war model. So it's just so amazing. Our, our ears are different and we prefer different things and and we've got these amazing guitars that actually cater for for all those exactly. preferences <laughs> exactly no it was actually it was actually absolutely nothing short of educational mm. uh, and even for us we we play many many guitars but to have the option to play these guitars mm. side by side you should really come and, and try and do this yourself uh, we'll always have these these models in stock mm. so you know come through and play these guitars and 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 listen to the sound clips uh, with what we just said in mind and uh, see whether you can uh, spot the difference and maybe pick your favorite ones along so thank you for watching we do appreciate it and we hope to see you soon bye bye